Hello everyone, welcome back everyone to the NASCAR Dirt to Daytona Career Mode. Last episode we went to Phoenix and we finished in last place. How that happened? Well, let's see. Our engine blown, then we got stuck on the track, and then the pace car wrecked us. For no reason. Did not help us out at all. And Robert Presley ended up winning at Phoenix. And we look, we're 15th in the point standing, so... That's how that is, so, of course, we got Robert Pensley, and we got Brendan Gaughan, and we got Rick Crawford. So, the way it looks, it could come down to Robert Pensley or Brendan Gaughan, maybe Rick Crawford, maybe. But that's a maybe iffy there. And we will look at everyone else here, and, and that's everybody else there. So, once again, I hope you all have a great Monday. Also, we have $108,234 in the bank. We are going to save it. Because also, this is the Season 1 Truck Series Finale. We are going to Homestead, Miami Speedway. That is it for our season. This is it. The last and race of Season 1 for the Truck Series. Season 1 Finale. Can we cope? Can we finally pull off and get something good? Huh, oh, we'll find out. Again, if you're new, subscribe. Hope you all have a great Monday. Let's hop on to it. All right, here we go, qualifying. All right, we're 16th going out, so here goes Numb. For the Season 1 Truck Series Finale. So hopefully maybe we can come out here and hopefully that we can get a solid finish in the truck season this season and, and we'll move on and get ready to go on to season two and get some upgrades and ready for season two for the truck series so Thirty-nine point six seven seven. That's better than what I ran in qual in practice. Are you kidding me? You have got to be kidding me. That is it. That is it. Pole position, baby. Let's go. Man, what a lap. Man, what a lap right there. We will take that. Let's go. Alan, this is in gorgeous South Florida at the Homestead Miami Speedway. Although one of the newest additions to the NASCAR circuit, Homestead draws huge crowds with its distinctive blend of length at a mile and a half and minimal banking, leading to some real driving exhibitions for happy fans. <laughs> Hello, Alan. For the Season 1 finale, we start on the pole. Man, that's just... Wow, that's crazy. Really crazy in here. Now, question is, can we go on and get a W? That would be nice. Let's fail. Let's hopefully. Let's get. Let's finish it off. Green flag. Nineteen laps to go left in the season one finale. Boom. 
battle for the lead. Battle for the lead. Okay, got eight laps left in the tank, so can run a little bit, so. All clear, new leader, 202 car. 202, 202. 18 laps to go left in this thing. And we'll be seeing you, I hope. I hope that's a good sign for us that we can probably maybe get our first career win. I hope. I mean, I hope that's good signs to come for us for season two when it comes down to it. We got 17 laps to go left in the race. And we got six laps left in the tank. I am very happy the truck. The truck feels good. Feels comfortable. That's how I like it. It's really good. Really, really good. And we're pulling away from them, so... Oh, now we're getting lap trucks into this. Oh, worry. I'm like, that is quick. Now we got to pass lap trucks now. Okay, lap trucks. Time to get out of the way. Man, this thing is a beast. We were fast and, like, not too bad in practice, but... But the, but the truck is so good, was so good in qualifying. You guys saw that we got the pole. Now we just need to come out and just win this race. So live trucks, time to get out of the way. Really, really good. 15 laps to go left in this event. We've got four laps left on the tank. So far, so good. We need to keep it that way. All right, well, we're gonna have to pit this time. All right, I'm coming in this time. All right, coming in. We don't need all that fuel, just enough to make it to the finish. Four tires. I'm very happy with the trucks. We're going to leave it at everything where it is. All right, big stop, boys, big stop. I had no idea what the speed limit was coming on pit road, so I just took my time. That's all right, we got a fast truck. All right, go, 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 go. That's when we should now start seeing the leaders come down pit road. Yeah, we should start seeing leaders and them come down pit road. So ten laps to go. we got ten laps to go. We just don't need to do anything stupid. Just need to get around some of these trucks here. Whoa, Kenny Schrader, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got cars, yeah, I got trucks pitting. But trying to dodge that. We don't want to get no damage on this truck. We just want to come home with a clean truck, but we want to win the race. 
Now I got everybody pitting. We gotta just watch out for some of these trucks, because some of them are gonna be slow. There's Robert Presley right there, he is. Trying to get around him now. That is for second. into some of his draft. Besides, we got more and more trucks pinning. Get off the grass. Use some of the draft to hopefully get around him. We cannot let him get away. I think Rob Presley, he hasn't even pitted. Seven laps to go left in the race. Like I say, we got a fast truck. Come on, Robert Presley. You know you want to pit. Send it in there. Yo, he knows I'm there. He knows I'm there. Stick with him. Stick with him. Six laps to go. Oh, man, I was going to try to hopefully he would go straight down to... Maybe it's my shot and he's going to pick him. Kenny Schrader, you are the man. Thank you. See you later, Robert Presley. Car high. Clear high. Five laps to go. Five laps to go. Get out of the way, trucks. Man, we got a bunch of slow trucks in our way now. Use some of these trucks. Gear out of them all. Like I say, crazy battle to the finish. We're we done. We're gone. But it's not over yet. Four laps to go left in the race. Just need to get away. I think now we're gone now. Get around more of these lap trucks. Yep, we're gone now. All right, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, got, yeah, I got three laps to go. Left in the race. This race just needs to stay green. We are having a shot to win our first career win in dominated fashion. This is something that and we got a lot, a lot of things to look forward to for Season 2 for the Truck Series. A lot of things to look forward to for Season 2. All clear. Come down to two laps to go. Two laps to go left in the race. A lot of things to look forward for Season 2. Two laps to go. We got like almost a 3.4 second gap lead. 
We just don't, we just don't want to crap up any more corners. Nice and smooth, like we've been doing, just nice and smooth. Like I say, we don't need to do anything stupid. We just need to do it solid. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are now taking the white flag. White flag is our final lap in the season one finale for the truck series. Someone's going to win the championship. It's not going to be us, which sucks. I wish it was, but it, it's not. But we're going in. It is the nail of the final coffin for us getting our first win this season and our first season as a rookie. Get around these trucks right here. Come on, turn four. Justin Garn in the 202 is a rookie. No one thinks he's going to win. Wins at Homestead. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. In dominated fashion. Starting on the pole. Wins the race. Let's go. Let's go. Our first career win. Wow in dominated fashion. That's better. Oh my goodness. How many trucks did I just lap there? Man, as soon as this brat lineup, leader lineup gets situated, how many trucks were on the lead lap? Oh my goodness. There was only eight trucks on the lead lap. That was it. That is what you call dominated fashion. Wow, let's go right there. Man, let's look at that. We won the race. We will take that. Let's go. We'll take it. <whistles> Have mercy. Look at all this money. 583555 dollars That, look at all this money. That is what you call... A lot of money. That is a lot. That is a lot of money. Wow. This right here, the NASCAR Heat Weekly newspaper. Garton. Next season. My season. Miami. The racing com completely was a little was a little shocked by Justin Garn's bald words. At, at the competition of the last race of the truck league series season at Homestead Miami Speed at Homestead Miami. Yes, I know I finished the season back in 13th place. Garn explained, but I really improved this season. Continue on D6. Yeah, we approved our season, but. But we did. We approved it. So that's something there. We have to approve some. And we approved. We won the race. Here's the finishing results right there. So it looks like, yeah, we're going to finish our season right 13th in the point standings. And it looks like, yeah, Robert Presley is the champion. So Robert Presley's winning the championship. And that's where everybody else finished. So right there in the race, and we finished 13th in the points team, so we finished with one win and three top fives. So that's how that is. Robert Presley wins the championship, and Brandon Gaughan finishes second in the championship standings. Man, poor Brandon Gaughan and Rick Crawford finished third in the championship standings. So, that's how everybody else looks in the standings, so that's how everyone else looks. Wow. Right there, that gives us 160. I thought it was over 500 some thousand, but it was only 50 some thousand. But anyway, we got 100, and so we got 166,589 dollars in the bank. We'll get more money when we go for season two. So that is it for the season one truck season finale. So thank you all so much, you all for watching. Again, if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications, which the bell, click all to be notified when we upload a video. 
So once again, I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday. We did it. We won the race. Our first career win. We'll finish the season with one win. We'll look at the final stats and everything for the in the next episode when we get ready to do Season 2. We're probably going to have some different changes coming in for Season 2, but we'll do it. So once again, I hope you all ho 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 ho. I'm getting ready for Christmas. Anyway, once again, I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday. Stay safe out there. And I will see you all on Wednesday with another video. Take care, everybody.